this video, we are going to review the Batman. While I draw it in 1,000 minutes, 100 minutes, 10 minutes, 1 minute, and 10 seconds. We have this video time-coded, so if you just want to go to the review and watch me draw the 1,000 minutes, you can do so by hitting the link down below. And when we get to the color, that is when we are going to talk spoilers, okay? So if you want to hear spoilers, here's a time code for that as well. Let's get to the draw. Hey, we're gonna watch the Batman tonight. You wanna come? For real? Yeah. You're not uh, pulling my leg. Oh, of course not. I don't, I don't think sold out, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, don't play with me. No, no, no. We're we as in you and me, or yeah, we as in you and someone else. Like, I'm gonna be like, all right, let's go, and then you're gonna say, oh, I didn't. No, 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 we're good. We're going. I'm so excited. Why don't I do a little drawing about it? Think of that segue. I think after this movie, I'm gonna want to do a really cool piece after. So, so why this don't is I not gonna be a really cool. No, piece? no, this is just more like a warm up. You know how I like to warm up. You work out. I ain't gonna play. I don't want to risk my seat at the theater. And why don't I try a time that I've never done before? Seven minutes. Now nah, let's do ten minutes. What? I've never done that before. <laughs> you guys ready? Here we go. Hey, I don't know if you know this. If you remember, I think it was like two years ago, I was doing uh, these uh, casting calls when there were a lot of rumors of who was going to play Batman. One of them was uh, Pattinson. No, it wasn't. And I drew him with an Arkham Knight suit. So no, it's one of those things where you're just saying, I said that. Come on, man. People do it all the time. It's true. It's look no it shame, up. Dude. It's, you know it's I mean? look it up. So and you know, and it also, I think that's what DC used to cast because... Uh, what year was this, James? 2019? 2019, man. When was uh when was Pattinson announced to take the role? It was afterwards. Huh? I'm just saying like, everything. Did you draw it the day of? I'm just <laughs> saying everything happens just because of me. That's that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I drew quite a few people as this Batman. I drew The Rock, I drew Michael B. Jordan. I only got four minutes left, uh-oh. Keep distracting. <laughs> <laughs> you know who Scott Atkins is? Yeah, yeah. Scott Atkins, yeah, I drew yeah. him as Batman. You remember he did that test screening oh, yeah. for Batman that went viral? I don't think I've done 10 minutes first in a while. I also did Oscar Isaacs as Batman. I think that got him as Moon Knight real quick. But I still have, to, I have two minutes, man. I got two minutes. You got two minutes and you got a whole torso to do. I do. Can you do it? I'm trying to get this symbol right. That's the hard part. You know what's really short. difficult? You got 30 seconds left to oh. finish those shoulder pads. That's true. You know, this this is like my entire comic career. Good enough. Eight, seven, six, five. I don't know what the bell looks like. Four, three, <laughs> two, one, again. one, eight. All right. Now that that's done, what did I challenge myself and do a time I've never done before? 45 seconds. How about one minute? <laughs> that's all I need. I can do a great one in that Batman. One minute. Like a generic Batman, or are you still gonna get that Pattinson look? Huh? Oh, he looks like Pattinson. It's looking like the this 1989 <laughs> Batman you would see at Kmart. Five seconds! I'm just what? saying. Oh, that was pretty bad. <laughs> Yeah. What have you done? You know, the very first video that went semi-viral was my very first Batman time challenge. That was the first one that people shared on Reddit. Huh? Yeah, yeah. That yeah. you didn't share yourself. That I didn't share my. And we're gonna do 10, because my adoring public loves it when I draw for 10 seconds. Because that's as long as they can watch me draw. I, you know what, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta do it blindfolded. Oh. Why don't I try that? I gotta do 10 seconds. For real? Yeah. Really? Yes, I am. Are you gonna start the timer? Ah, uh, that's a good question. I cannot see underneath. I'm gonna okay. tell you when. Okay, okay, tell me when. Yeah, go. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Did it go? That can't be 10 one. seconds. I don't know. Dude, you drew Shrek! <laughs> That's perfect! That's not bad! That was okay! That's not bad! Man! I, already. I drew that blind as a bat! If you think a little inconvenience like this is gonna stop me. Can I try a one minute like that? Ready? Yep. And one minute. Go. Alright, here we go. I got a lot of time enough. Look at that, look at that, look at that. That's a nose. And then do a job mouth here. Oh, let's draw them ears. I see what you're doing. Oh, you see what I do there? Okay. You're doing a one line challenge. Yes, sir. Kind of, that helps to get me. away with it. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. <laughs> That's the cape. You know what? I forgot what the symbol looks like. I'm going to draw some abs. Oh, that was perfect. That yeah. was, yeah, man. Oh, uh, yeah. Holy oh, yeah. That's confidence, not man. Anything. That's confidence, man. Oh, yeah. Let's take a look. Have a look. <laughs> oh, that's not bad. That's really? actually better than this one! How long do we have before the movie? We have exactly 100 minutes before we have to go. 
Wow, what a wonderful number of a time to draw. <laughs> what? Are you, are you trying to weave a riddle or something like that? What a wonderful Riddle'd number of a time. Riddle me this. Riddle me this. Riddle me that. Well, we should have done that throughout this video. You sure you want to draw right now? You, you could you could miss a few costume details or something oh, like that. Oh, no, no, let's go. Here we go. Here, here we go. In three, I'm you, you're two, gonna date this video. one. Don't do it. No! No, no stopping him now. What a movie. That oh movie boy. can take a lot out of you. Oh now boy. you're going to draw. I got to draw. I have to watch that movie. So let's go. Thousand minutes right, on the clock right now. Let's go. Let's talk about Batman. Uh, what don't you get started? This Batman, this is his second year mm -hmm. operating. And he's not the type of Batman that we've seen in movies as of late. He's more emotional. Without giving too much away, his emotions sometimes do get the best of him, I saw. I've heard people say that uh, Matt Reeves kind of wanted him to be more like, instead of the Batman that we kind of see, in movies where he's like this playboy, he wanted him to be more like this rock star emo type uh, character. Some people might have a problem with that, but I was fine with it. Hmm. This is a Batman that's yeah. still learning how to possibly be the Batman that we will end up getting to know that's established in the comic books in runs like Tinian, Graham Morrison's run before that, the one who already knows six steps ahead of all the other villains. Mm -hmm. But what did you think of Pattinson's version? Very, very interesting. You know, a lot of people have said in the past, Batman is in the mask, right? Bruce Wayne is the mask. This definitely does fall into that. Yeah. What I like about this Batman is he makes mistakes. And he made a mistake in, the, in this movie, a big yeah. one. And it's actually kind of cool to see that. Kavinda R says, I hope they will show a more darker Batman movie than ever, and they will show more of the, the detective side, and they will show Batman finding out what the story about his father is with all those riddles. Well, spoiler territory, right, maybe, right, right. if we answer that yes or no. Okay. But in terms of the detective side... Yeah, absolutely. You will be very happy. Really, in this movie, uh, and I think a lot of us expected it for this movie, we really got to see Detective Batman. This movie is it's really him just trying to solve this crime. This is probably the most realistic Batman we're gonna see. Like, I could actually see this guy actually being around. It could be downtown Toronto for all <laughs> <laughs> Mateus Andreas says, I think Batman is going to be Bruce Wayne. They never appear together in the trailers. <laughs> you're, you're well, not, you know what? You're not wrong, Mateus. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. <laughs> but, you know, going into going into your point there mm. uh, that, that you just talked about, that, there's no I, Bruce Wayne here that is, you know, like, again, the mask, the persona, the glad handling, the guy that's using his money to be able to further advance stuff that he does as Batman on the side. There's none of that collaborative duality. Right, he's right. just Batman Pretty much. all the yeah. time. Even when he's Bruce Wayne, in the movie, he's right. still Batman. There, there's no difference. One guy we didn't get to see a lot of was was Alfred. That was kind of surprising. Again, um, going with the take of, you know, like this version of Batman, Alfred has always been, uh, to Bruce Wayne, a revered father figure that's deeply appreciated as mm -hmm. such. Right. This, this Batman looks like he hasn't come to that point yet. I think this is the least we've seen of Alfred in a, in a Batman movie. Despite that, yeah. though, they did enough to establish a lot of things just in the few scenes that he was in. Mm -hmm. One, he's the Absolutely. one that's handling the Wayne operations. Yeah. And they do that in such a very minimalistic way that's so effective. Mm -hmm. And then the other thing is, I think in that same scene, they show something that uh, hints at his military background. Yes, Actually, yes, not hints, absolutely. just drops right. that he has a military background. Right, so right, they right. put all of that in. Absolutely. And I like how they delved into that. We, we, we haven't really seen that as much before either. But you know what, what surprised me even more was how close he was to Jim Gordon. Oh, yeah. To me, it was kind of like he was one of them. Man. He was like one of the cops. I don't know. Maybe, maybe forgive me. Like, my memory's not that great because I don't remember in the movies... 
like him working that closely with the police on things. Well, there is uh, there is in there? the Dark Knight. Oh, a little bit in the Dark Knight, uh, right on. With a bank scene afterwards. Right, right, he, right, right. He kind of just shows up, but right. it's not like as if the cops are all around and being like, why is you know like you know like that isn't emphasized as much. Mm, right. Like Batman is literally like shoulder to shoulder yeah. with a lot of these other officers. Right. Truly, like they're they're like partners. Yeah. <laughs> like Jim and, and Batman's that's pretty the much thing. a partner, right? Like, <laughs> yeah. The way Jeffrey Wright plays oh, yeah. Gordon, he does this in Bond as well. Right. He's not a supporting guy right like like jim's there to feed batman information and then batman goes off and acts no he's a collaborator mm -hmm. and the way that jeffrey wright plays those types of characters you get that collaborative sense and then even just hearing him talk i'm like man what if you know they're working hard to solve crime so let's talk about these crimes let's talk about the riddler man well what a portrayal did you know that this costume it was apparently paul dano's idea to have him wrapped in plastic really yeah really the reason why is because um dano in an interview i, th I think it was in good morning america mm. dano says you know i'm trying to think of how the riddler would be going about with his crimes mm. he doesn't want to leave dna at the scene and he's not rich and well connected and has resources. So what does he do? He's probably going to wrap himself in cellophane or plastic so that way he doesn't leave stray hairs or sweat or whatever. Right. And that's what he incorporated into the character. That's why Very he smart. has that costume. Like with this with this Riddler, and it just shows this whole Batman movie, you could see this happening, right? You could see like a psycho like this. If there was a psycho his... like that, it, this is how they would actually pull off this type of crime in real life. People say that uh, Riddler's an underrated character. There's so much more you can do with him. They will be very happy, I think, within mm. the first two minutes of this oh, yeah. movie. The way that he Absolutely. is revealed. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. It's like a ninth day compared to the Riddler we're used to seeing on screen. Though, I'll admit, this Riddler is kind of funny <laughs> at times. A little bit. There's, there's, there's a little some bit. jokes in there. This movie made. definitely doesn't have yeah. a joking tone, but no, it's got the sure. one-liners. It does. Right there's, on. a, there's at least a dozen. Who, who, you, uh, who you drawing next there? The dude from Transformers. <laughs> okay. Okay. Totoro playing Falcone. Yes. yes. I did not see the Transformers yeah, guy yeah, at all. Yeah, absolutely. It, it, it yes. is such a contrast. And that was my biggest worry when I heard that he was cast. I see him as that character in Transformers. Every movie that I've seen him in, and, I, and granted, I haven't seen a lot. He is some sort of a very similar character. Where he's like this bumbling guy. Well, well the pop culture movie goer yeah. would know would right. know him just as well, right? right like right, in right. that same vein. But that, oh yes, boy, but, but oh boy, uh, he's he is an important character, and we won't uh, get get into that. To be honest, if I didn't know he was in this movie, mm -hmm. I wouldn't have known that was the same guy from Transformers. Me personally, so that's why I thought I thought he did a fantastic job. He, One of my favorite he, characters. He in this really movie. took yeah. that character and played the version that would be most similar to the Long Halloween. Yes, Jeff yes. Loeb, Tim Sale, that version of Falcone. If you have any doubts that Totoro can pull that off, mm -hmm. um, don't worry. I don't, I don't want to talk too much of it until we get I know, the spoilers. I know, I know, I know. But, we're, do we're dying to do it. <laughs> but you still got more to draw. <laughs> now I'm going to draw a fun one. I'm going to draw Zoe Kravitz as, as a Catwoman here. And, and what a great character. There's no mischievousness to this Catwoman. Mm -hmm. She's a very headstrong, aggressive Catwoman that's kind of like the uh, the Batman Year One Miller. She's not a rich person, and so she wouldn't have this fancy cat suit, right? She has this leather suit. Her mask is pretty much just a hat with a it's with like your eyes. Hat. Yeah, it's like my yeah. hat. <laughs> hey, look, 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 where did James go? It's just Catman here. <laughs> but what a great character. The chemistry between her and, and Robert Pattinson, Batman, yep. it was just off off the chart. So who's this guy over? Oh, I think I know. Oh, you're doing <laughs> none of that in this movie no no none of that in this movie this you know movie. given colin farrell's height mm -hmm. it's like this is the dc version of hugh jackman Wolverine. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah no no eating raw fish here no no merge together hands no he's here. a, he's a, a crime very, boss proper very realistic crime boss and again this whole movie everything so realistic penguin's just the nickname in the community chat that you put up there it was hardcore dinosaur my biggest hope is the penguin is actually a big part of the story and isn't written out in the first 30 minutes after the car chase scene. <laughs> definitely not. Definitely not. Um, definitely not. You will be happy. You will be happy. Yeah. You will definitely be happy. Everyone's been saying how much they're so surprised this is Colin Farrell. The makeup designer, Mike Marino, mm -hmm. there's got to be some sort of award waiting for him with that. Like, oh, yeah, it, for sure. It's so realistic, man. Yeah, in today's amazing. 4K world, to yeah. be able to pull something like that off. Absolutely. Plus Colin Farrell's uh, performance. This is a funny story. So I think it was during makeup test. Colin Farrell was saying in an interview, he went out with the makeup and the costume and basically in the persona of Penguin to a Starbucks mm -hmm. to order an oat milk latte. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah, give me an oat milk latte. Like, like, you know, like talking like that. Like, right. like it doesn't sound like Colin Farrell. It doesn't look like Colin Farrell. 
and he was saying that he was getting looks and it wasn't because like who's this weird guy in a cosplay thing it was more like who is this big intimidating person right that is ordering at the starbucks i'm kind of scared of this guy that's how that's how realistic it is like that's in crazy. real life wow yeah wow let's talk about the batmobile really quickly you forgot this really fun, but let's talk about that batmobile oh boy talk about realism I could see he, uh, Batman souping this up himself. He didn't need like, <laughs> like yeah. He, you know, he didn't need like government help to, to, make, <laughs> to make this Batmobile. The reveal of the Batmobile in every single Batman movie has always been a key moment that mm -hmm. fans are waiting for. Mm -hmm. The number of times it's already been done, it's almost like, how can you make this pop right. again? The way that this thing is revealed, mm -hmm. remind me to talk about it once we get into spoilers, because Reeves does it. All, All right. right, so so this city, man. Yeah, let's talk, let's what talk do you about think Gotham about, City. What do you think about this Gotham City? Well, let me say I don't want to live here. You know, and you know one thing I, I really loved about this movie? Yeah. The Batman influence on the city, and on crime. The, the fact that the bat symbol would scare the criminals. Where a person would be even scared just to go into the shadows. Right. Out of fear, Right. Batman's there. But then at the same time, there's still a lot of this crime going mm -hmm. on. I don't want to live here. <laughs> you know, I would move. Now, what do you think about the technology? The technology was, there was some really, really interesting uh, technology in there. Um, I got steampunk vibes. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, of, yeah, for something. sure, for sure. Like, I think someone even, even said they had uh, vibes from the original Metropolis movie. Like, and we're talking a long time ago. If you don't know what Metropolis is. It's, oh, yeah, It's yeah, a yeah. movie from the, the early 1900s. Uh, one thing that we did see in the trailers, though, talking about uh, different tech that he has, and again, realistic, is that he does have a wingsuit. And I believe that was in one of the trailers uh -huh. where we jumped uh -huh. off. And I can draw that right now. I'm going to draw this little yeah. little wing suit here, which I wasn't expecting. Okay, here we go. This is what we got line art wise. Now, uh, this isn't a thousand minutes. So I'm going to put in a little bit more time as I'm going to color this thing myself. I got to try to color this a little bit more graphic style. This movie's known for a lot of red, so I'm going to put a lot of red in here. And so I'm going to try something different with the colors, and you guys will see that. I'm going to go scan this in, and you guys are going to watch me color this thing. But while I, you watch me color this thing, we're actually going to get into some spoiler, spoiler territory. Spoiler time. So if you don't want to hear any spoilers, we're going to have a big sign of the spoilers right now. Just mute us for now until we get to the end so you can see the final drawing. So you have been warned, this is your spoiler warning. Okay, so where do we want to start with the spoilers? Well, no, let's let's quickly talk about the tech. He has this eye camera. Yeah, you know, you know, yeah, yeah. It's like this uh, contact lens. He also gives it to Catwoman as well to use. Yeah, and it records I, everything. It records everything, sound and everything. And you see him uh, reviewing that footage all the time. The way that everything is set up, like you notice, like he, it's sort of portable, it's semi-portable. Mm -hmm. He can set this stuff up anywhere in like some little quarter in an alley, right. but it's like, this giant briefcase looking thing he opens it up and the actual camera itself it's yes. a circle it's not like yeah. as if it's a tv screen it's right. a circle it's a so circle that, yeah. so there's the steampunky aspect to it there let's it's, talk about catwoman well oh, yeah catwoman. it was interesting because yeah. you drew falcone and then catwoman afterwards and right. i almost yeah. said it <laughs> yeah, i almost said almost, it almost where we find out that catwoman is falcone's daughter so he found out that she was her daughter there, right? Or did she? In the movie. Know, yeah. In he, the movie. In the, so she, he didn't know before. No. He didn't know before. Near the end yeah, where yeah, she yeah. like has the gun at yeah, him yeah. and then tells him what happens. He's like, oh, the, oh, he didn't know. He, one thing about this Batman, I, I think it would make a lot of Batman fans happy is that no kill rule. Because it, know, stays, it, yeah. it stays. He, it is stays. Yeah. It stays. That is a, something that he upholds. No kill rule. Make sure that Catwoman doesn't kill as well. Yeah. So when uh, when Falcone was going to be arrested, I was thinking, okay, this is going to get shot. It's just going to Arkham. And then the Riddler yeah. shot was the one who shot Falcone. Riddler, the whole movie, thought he was working with Batman. Yeah. You're right. He thought he was like Batman's friend the whole time. It wasn't like a, trying to get Batman out. Like and that, and that's the thing. Enough, so, right? so we're talking about Batman being new and he's not the one step ahead right. character. The Riddler is actually, as a villain, mm. the person who is one step ahead of everything. Right. Yeah, Literally yeah. the mastermind of the whole, of everything that unfolds in this movie. Absolutely, in a very yeah. creepy way. Absolutely, yeah. He's the main villain, but he's not the villain that makes right. the city as sick as it's already become. Right. right, yes, yes. He brings it to a new level. Yeah. They always say the best villains are the ones who think that they're right. Right? Or they, oh, have, yeah, a, they yeah. have a genuine Oh, and purpose. he thinks he's right, 100%. Right? It's like Thanos, right? Thanos has a genuine concern, yep. and but his way is just bad right or, yeah. or it's insane same with the riddler his concern was there right he, he feels like he's doing the right thing 
Yeah, right, right. He's getting but, but retribution he's, yeah, on yes. all of these all these people that have wronged the city and made exactly. it as terrible as it is. Exactly, and <laughs> and his motivation for yes. it is because he's an orphan. If orphan, exactly, and that was, whole backstory about the orphan, and you could feel for him. Let's yeah. set up the backstory on that. Yeah. So Thomas Wayne in this Batman mm. was running for mayor before he died. Right. He set up this fund for orphans mm -hmm. and orphan care. Right. But yeah. then when he died, all of that money just ended up getting funneled into the crime bosses. Right. Yeah. They paid off all the cops and bought the cops basically. Right. Right. Bought key policemen. So the Riddler is just kind of, you know, like, well, now he's left on his own because he was in that orphanage. Mm -hmm. Right, yes. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, the other people that are in his little web community mm. are the other orphans, are right. they not? I, I'm not 100% sure that you, you might be correct. And yeah. like you were saying, you know, like you, he's he's an orphan, so was Bruce Wayne. Mm -hmm. When right. when Thomas Wayne gets killed, mm -hmm. everyone cares about Bruce Wayne, but they didn't care about these 30 other orphans in the $1 billion fund that Thomas right. Wayne had, right. right? Yeah. But then going beyond that, he had a reason to think Thomas Wayne was a little... Uh, was a little crooked. Well, right, because he was. <laughs> <laughs> but was he? Bit. Was well, he? Well, well, well. Here's the here's the thing, right? And, mm -hmm. and they explain this movie, but the more I thought about this, yeah. because it turns out uh, Bruce Wayne's mom, she's been in and out of Arkham Asylum. He didn't want her to. Um, he didn't want that story to be known. He didn't publicly. want that story to be put out. There's a reporter that wants to dig into the backstory of Thomas Wayne. Right. That reporter's name is Elliot. Right. Finds out about Martha Wayne. And another spoiler. That's when we get the hush Easter egg. Yeah. There because they mentioned a character. Last name was Elliot. But then after that, they had big words hush on the screen. Yeah. And that's a yeah. definitely an Easter egg. We don't know if we're going to do anything with that later on. Before any of this happens, Thomas Wayne, he's known as a doctor. Right. And Falcone. Um, one day shows up at the Wayne household doorstep because he's injured. So Thomas Wayne operates with him on the table, yes, right? Yes. So Falcone respects Thomas Wayne at right, this point. Right. Falcone is not the head boss right. when this happens. Right. It's him and this other guy, Maroney, which right. is where the long Halloween tie comes right. in. Yeah. Later on, once this whole Thomas Wayne story, he's running for mayor, he's freaking out, he goes to Falcone. Yeah. Falcone, in terms of the way he tells the story, is like, your dad wanted him taken care of. He says to Bruce, so I took care of it. Right. Which makes Thomas look like as if he ordered a hit on this right, Elliot right, guy. Yeah. So this is where that Batman, he's hes young, he's younger. He, do, he doesn't have this thing where it's like, hey, you know, let me take a step back. Is mm -hmm. he telling the truth? Right, right. He let his emotions run him at that point. Right, right, right. He's, he's really upset. So Alfred, Alfred's in the hospital. When Alfred wakes up, the first thing that, that Bruce Wayne says to him, and this is, this is again, mm -hmm. not the revered father figure. He kind of takes him a little for granted. He's like, right. you lied to me. And Alfred's like, no, listen, I didn't lie to you. This is what happened. It's a lot more complex than that. Thomas, yeah. your dad made a mistake. He was freaking out. He was trying to protect your mom. Right. And, you know, he went to Falcone because he didn't know what else to do. And that was his mistake. He didn't think Falcone would kill him. Right. But Falcone is like, oh, I am going to kill him. Now I have something about Thomas Wayne that I have right. in my back pocket. Right. Yeah. And I'll have Thomas Wayne in my back pocket forever. Right. And Falcone is probably the one that ordered the hit on Thomas. Right after Thomas was like, no, you don't have me in your back pocket. Right. So, right. Well, the, the, well, let me just say that uh, when, uh, there's not a lot to nitpick, personally, for some, for a Batman fan. You know, you tell Falcone, I'm having trouble with this guy. You know what he's going to do. It's going to happen. You know what he's going to do. It's going to happen. And he did say that he was going to go to the police. Why would he tell Falcone he was going to the police? <laughs> hey, <laughs> I'm going to turn you in, Falcone. <laughs> but I'm going to do it tomorrow. I hope you do nothing to me but between now and tomorrow. Right. He right. should have went straight to the police. That's, yeah. all, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> but you know, that, that really but it was very interesting. Very, very interesting. That really yeah, paints, again, yeah. the, the Wayne family as flawed. Because, right. like, if you're looking at it in the comic books, Thomas Wayne was a righteous character and died because he was righteous. Martha Wayne was, you know, just right up there with the righteousness. Mm. And, and, you know, they died because of right. trying to uphold these righteous ideals. This version, the Waynes, Thomas, Martha, they died because of a very severe mistake. Right. You know, like in terms of their decision making. For sure, yeah. yeah. Which is really interesting. Yeah, which is just shows you. In terms of different yeah, which just shows you everyone in the city sucks. <laughs> 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 well, which is why the Riddler did what he did uh -huh. at the end. And uh, that's that's when we're going to talk about, uh, you know, about Gotham being flooded. Very biblical in a sense, too. If you oh, think yeah. of very, oh, yeah. very, thing, you think about, about Noah's Ark. I did read a lot of people actually didn't like uh, the actual flooding. They felt the, the movie should have ended when they apprehended the Joker. Or the Riddler, you mean? Or the Riddler, sorry, the Riddler. Yeah. Uh, but the, we're, going with no, we're going with noir, right? Yeah, right, right. And yeah. noir is something where the hero doesn't win. The, the, right. There's no happy ending. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And there was no happy ending. There wasn't really this a isn't happy a, ending. No, there's, hope, there's hope, but there's no happy. happy ending. So, you know, you get the Riddler, everything's in a nice little bow. 
But then the Riddler's like, I'm not done yet. Like, there's something else. And this goes again into another flaw. We talk about seeing Batman as a detective here. And right. we do, rightfully right. so, yeah. more than any other film. Right. But again, he's not the one step ahead Batman. When they're all in the Riddler's apartment, right. and they see that note with the Batman, and then what falls out is that carpet thing. Right. There's that hint in the beginning, oh, that's what he used to kill the mayor mm -hmm. in the beginning of the story. Right. But the real reason why that carpet thing was there was because he thought Batman was going to be smart enough to pull up to the pull carpet up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and exactly. see what the real story is. Exactly. So, if Batman was smart enough to do that, mm. they might have been able to prevent the flooding. Maybe. But Batman yeah. was not. He was not. So yeah, he, yeah. you know, this is not the Batman that we right. will come to and know. Again, second second year, right? He's still, yeah. he's still, yeah. learn, he's still learning at this point. But it, mm -hmm. it was just, uh, it was just interesting to see what it wasn't done <laughs> at that particular moment. And that's, and that's the thing. And then that, and that's going to lead into all these series. They're saying the Penguin is going to pick up at, at right after. There's this. a lot we'll they can later. mine yeah. from for the fans that want to see, you know, like how does this relate to comic books and how does it track? There's a couple right. things. There's Batman Zero Year. Um, I don't know if you read that one. No. Snyder and Capullo. The flood actually happens there. Okay. It, it happens before Batman starts, though, in right. that story. Right. But then you remember Batman No Man's Land when we were growing up? Right, right, yeah, yeah. The, yeah. That's an earthquake the, yes. that hits Gotham. Right. And yeah, then, and now way. all of the villains are just trying to go for a power grab because right. like Gotham's yeah. completely destroyed. Yeah. That's what they hint at at the end yeah. of this. So movie. a lot of lot of different directions they could go. There is after that one. Mm -hmm. And of course the the surprise appearance at the end, yep. which has been rumored, yep. which has been rumored, was uh, we we did get to see the Joker yep. at the end. Now now some people are saying it could be Two Face or whatever, but his brother actually went online and said, oh yeah, my brother's playing the Joker. So this it's it's one hundred percent the Joker. Is the Joker. Hundred percent. He is the Joker. <laughs> I don't know. I, I have to see him in the movie. We, we don't see much of him. We don't see yeah. much of him. We see the scarred smile. Yeah. But we don't see him completely. And then the laugh is kind of different. Let's just say that the laugh is a little. It is different. different. It is very different. So we're gonna. But he's an amazing actor. We saw him in Eternal. So. It'll be interesting to see what 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 happens. They're gonna have the Penguin series. They're gonna actually have a Gotham series that they just announced mm -hmm. as well, and they have the Jim Gordon series that, that's coming out. There's so many things that are coming out. I feel like the this. Gotham so series might be able to are, reveal some court of maybe, stuff. Maybe, maybe. We'll we'll see. We'll see what happens. Overall thoughts on the movie, my friend. Overall thoughts as we wrap up here. It's not as violent as people are yeah. saying that it would be. Let me say that this movie isn't for everyone. Uh, my son was completely bored in this movie. He didn't like it. Yeah. Uh, my, it's not Spider-Man. This movie is not Spider-Man. You gotta like detective stories. For, for a sure. general moviegoer yeah. that likes crime yeah. and likes superhero movies and has a good time with those, yeah. this is a great movie to watch. Right, exactly. There are some comments that relate that maybe we can just tail off with. Uh, Daniel Andino <laughs> asks you, uh, let us know when the best time to use the bathroom <laughs> is. Uh, some people have said maybe three hours is a little too long for this movie, and it's possible, but again, mm. going with the noir thing, things move at a slower pace. Yeah. So when's a good time to use the bathroom? <sighs> Even with a three hour movie, I'd say that there isn't a right time. There are some scenes that could have been shorter, yeah. but it's not like there were scenes that could be cut out entirely. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. There's not, to be honest, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> go to the bathroom, go, go watch it twice. <laughs> That's what <Yeah>. I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. And you won't regret it too. Like, I want to go back again just to see the things. I know we missed a whole bunch of stuff, and I would love to go. Well, you finished this drawing, and you're yes. finishing the color. Now you, you want to just watch it after? <laughs> yeah, actually, let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> hey, guys, tell us what you think of the Batman. Let us know down below. And while you're there, why don't you go ahead and watch this video ah. over his head. Oh. <laughs> this here. video right here. here. And go check that video out as well, okay? <laughs> Let's do it now. Come here. on. Click it. Here. Click it. Here. <laughs>